Have you ever pondered what would happen if the world as we know it came to an abrupt end? It's a question that might make you squirm in your seat, an uncertainty that many of us prefer to avoid, yet it remains a persistent thought, a whisper in the backs of our minds. End times, apocalypse, the great unknown, whatever name you give it, it's a topic as old as humanity itself. Across eras and cultures, it has birthed countless theories and predictions. Some anticipate a natural disaster of cataclysmic proportions, while others foresee a slow decline due to resource depletion. There are those who envision a technological singularity where artificial intelligence surpasses human intellect and others still who prophesize divine intervention. Yet amidst this diversity of thought, one thread remains constant, the question of preparedness. So, if our world were to change drastically, how prepared would you be? The human instinct is to prepare, to adapt, to survive. Let's take a moment to marvel at our species, humans. We've always been the survivors, the adapters, the ones who make it through. From the icy winds of the ice age to the blistering heat of the desert sun, we've faced it all. Our ancestors, they navigated through uncharted territories, battled the harshest of elements, and yet they survived. Not by chance, but by preparation. Preparation is woven into the very fabric of our DNA. It's what allowed our forebears to store food for the cold winters, to build shelters against storms, to create tools for hunting. It's this instinct, this primal drive to prepare, that has carried us through the centuries. In the grand theater of life, each challenge, each obstacle has only made us stronger, more resilient. And as we stand on the precipice of the unknown, we remember our strength, our resilience, our ability to adapt. And in the face of the unknown, preparation becomes our greatest ally. Imagine for a moment a world void of all modern conveniences. In this world, there's no electricity to power our homes, no supermarkets to provide our meals, no internet to keep us connected. It's a world where survival isn't a game, but a necessity. Now picture a man, let's call him John. John used to be an average guy, living an average life, but in this new reality, John is forced to adapt. John's story is not one of despair, but one of resilience and ingenuity. He begins by taking stock of his surroundings. He finds himself in a world where nature reigns supreme, so he learns to read the sky for weather patterns, the terrain for safe pathways, and the plants for sources of food. He adapts to his environment rather than attempting to bend it to his will. Next, John cultivates a different kind of strength. He learns to be patient, to persevere, and to stay hopeful in the face of adversity. He learns to respect the world around him, to understand its rhythm, and to move with it rather than against it. He learns that survival isn't about brute strength, but about mental fortitude, adaptability, and a willingness to learn. John also learns to be resourceful. He makes tools from stone, he learns to hunt and gather, he builds a shelter from whatever materials he can find, he learns that everything around him can be a resource if he's creative enough to see it. But perhaps most importantly, John learns the value of community. He understands that survival is not a solitary endeavor, but a collective one. He builds relationships, learns to trust, to share, to cooperate. He learns that in a world without modern conveniences, the greatest resource is each other. John's story is a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and endure. It's a tale of survival that underscores the importance of resilience, creativity, and community in the face of uncertainty. In the end, survival isn't about the fittest, but the most adaptable. Survival in the face of uncertainty is all about adaptation and preparation. No matter the situation, there are strategies that can help you adapt and thrive. Let's delve into some of these coping strategies. Firstly, gaining knowledge and skills is vital. Knowledge truly is power especially when it comes to survival. It's about understanding the world around you, how things work, and how you can use them to your advantage. Skills, on the other hand, are practical applications of this knowledge. It could be anything from knowing how to start a fire or purify water to learning basic first aid or how to navigate using the stars. These skills can make a world of difference when you're thrown into an unknown situation. Secondly, preparing supplies is crucial. It's not just about stocking up on canned goods and bottled water, though these are important. It's about having the tools you need to survive and the supplies to support your survival skills. Think along the lines of a reliable source of light, a sturdy knife, a first aid kit, or even a trusted compass. 
Next, building a community is an often overlooked but incredibly important strategy. Humans are social creatures and we thrive when we're part of a group. That group can provide support, share resources and even offer protection in times of uncertainty. Plus, there's the added benefit of shared knowledge and skills, which can be invaluable. Lastly, mental preparation is key. It's about building resilience, maintaining a positive outlook and staying calm in the face of adversity. It involves accepting the possibility of uncertainty and preparing yourself mentally to face whatever comes. Remember, your mind is your most powerful tool. By employing these strategies, you're not just preparing to survive, you're preparing to thrive. You're equipping yourself with the tools, knowledge and mindset to adapt and overcome any situation. So remember, it's not just about surviving the unknown, it's about thriving in it. With the right strategies, you can prepare yourself to face any uncertainty. Preparation isn't about predicting the future, it's about being ready for it. In our journey through the landscapes of uncertainty, we've navigated the human need for preparation, heard stories of survival, and dissected coping strategies for the unknown. Now let's bring it all together and tap into the true power of preparation. Remember, preparation isn't about having a crystal ball. None of us can foresee every twist and turn life may throw at us. It's about equipping ourselves with the tools, knowledge and mindset to adapt and overcome. It's about building a resilience that stands firm in the face of adversity and a flexibility that bends with the winds of change. We've delved into various coping strategies from mental exercises that help us accept the unknown to practical steps towards self-sufficiency. These aren't just ways to cope with end times uncertainty, but strategies that serve us in our everyday lives. Think about it. The ability to stay calm under pressure, to think critically and solve problems, to adapt and learn new skills. These are qualities that not only prepare us for the unknown, but make us more capable and confident in our daily lives. And so the power of preparation extends far beyond the realm of survivalism. It's a philosophy that shapes our approach to life, enhancing our capacity to deal with stress, to face challenges head on, and to seize opportunities when they arise. In essence, preparation is about empowering ourselves. It's about stepping into the unknown with the assurance that we've done all we can to prepare and the confidence that we can handle whatever comes our way. It's about moving from a place of fear and uncertainty to a place of strength and adaptability. So as we journey forward into the great unknown, let's remember the power of preparation. Let's remember that with the right mindset, tools and strategies, we can navigate any storm. In the face of the unknown, the prepared not only survive, they thrive.